Yeah, we are good day everyone. Today is 27th April 2023 and we will be bringing updates on our activities today. I want you to understand the purpose of this documentary is to inspire you to venture into this business. And it will not only give you good profits but as well create room for employment for other youths to come and work. So this is a wonderful work we are doing in Enugu State in Nigeria. So we really appreciate those of you who have been following. Today we'll be teaching you a lot of things that you need to know about Etting Pond. While we back, you can see um, a little a beautification, some colorful bags with sand in them. So you're going to see it and um, understand the way working. Um, the pond was um, flooded with water. Flooded, let me just say, water gets into the pond and we need to remove the water to continue the excavation so that's what you are seeing us doing right away so i thank god for the diligent young men that are doing this work with us and um, our vision is to is to establish a big farm in Enugu state that will help in meeting up the agricultural demand in Enugu state so thank you for following us all right good of you and god bless um, you. it's a privilege to have you again my channel i want to appreciate that men that be following us so here we are, you can see um, our pond construction is still going on. And let me take you over to the first one we started digging, which some of you we are watching. So let's go over to that place. You can see the land is actually slippery, so that's why I'm not putting up my fruit here, so never mind. I'm a very quick guy, I do This is what I do. So, you can see what we just did here. The purpose of this bag is to help to fortify the pond from collapsing and it's actually working effectively because the one that we are working on, which we did not put the bag, we saw that um, there are some cracks. So we are still getting bags to, to make sure we get them fixed. And um, you can see water is already entering the pond. And um, as I said, as you keep watching what we are doing, we'll be giving you updates. So if you take a look at this one here, you see that they are not yet done. And the water here, this morning, we have pumped out a reasonable volume of water out of this place. And just take a look. Can you see the depth? So if you want to construct a thin pond, it's always good to ensure that the pond has the capability of retaining water. So one of the challenges these young men are having, you can see that some over there. So they're actually thinking of how they're going to take, how they're going to uproot it. But I know you guys will be able to do it. They're equal to the tax. And um, works have been in progress. Almost all of them will have heavy, heavy storm and we'll be removing them. So I want to say some things regarding Ethan Pond. And one of the advantages of Ethan Pond is that, um, as you see, the pond here, some people feel that fish does much better here than Capoli Pond. Not really, it depends on management. But um, since the land can retain water, one advantage you have is that once you start, you might not be spending much money in terms of changing of water. And when you stock your fish here, your fish have access to some microbes, some phytoplankton, some zooplankton that will be swimming and you can equally practice um, polyculture. But nevertheless, I want to emphasize on something that is very much important. The kind of fish you stock here are not fingerlings, they are not juvenile, they are jumbo. And it is also important that when you stock your fish in your eating pond, once in a while, you can drain the water and remove the big, big ones to minimize cannibalism. I'm still going to take you around to see other beautiful work we are doing. For you to know that um, we are actually promoting this, promoting, um, fish farming in this country so yeah just take a look at this particular one for those of you who have been following us you can see the volume of the water the over there you can see the crack that we're having because behind the fence there's a water that flows through and the water is passing through this place to enter into the pond but um as some gentlemen that are doing the bagging they have gone to get some bags and they, we are going to put it in shape Okay, and what we put it in shape, we are going to show you. 
So if you have been watching our videos and you enjoy what we're doing, we encourage you to invest in fish farming so that um, people will have works to do. You know, after this um, installation, a lot of persons will be employed in this company and they'll be working very well. We're going to have the production section, the, the processing section, and even the management. Uh, hopefully, we're still going to have even a training section here for the management talk about partner with the government to train people, which is visible with what we have here. So we employ people to embrace agriculture. It really pays. It provides food for the nation and also provides um, employment, which is very much important. Then if you are new in this channel, we encourage you to subscribe. And uh, if you have, if you know and you have um, farmers around you, encourage us to follow what you are doing so that they can learn, they can learn, they can learn. You understand what I'm saying? So that they can learn. So if you have any questions regarding what you are doing, I will encourage you to ask. Like um, this pond you are seeing here, we are actually we are not going to stop fish here. We are still going to lime, we are still going to scream the pond, we are still going to remove this water and allow a new water to come in. And we are still going to do some plumbing work, so we still have a lot of work to do. So gentlemen, I don't know if any of you have anything to say. Do you have anything to say to the audience? No. You don't have anything to say. So these men are really hard-working guys. And I know that God will continue to bless them. God will continue to bless them. You can see the wonderful work they are doing, looking so neat. So they are, they are actually good. And um, I actually want to say a big thanks to my team. We, we, we have been trying our best to promote agriculture in this country. And uh, I want to thank God for how you have Look at that young man over there, that little boy, Mr. Kesley. He's our last born, he's doing, he's working there. So I, 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 I'm giving him big kudos. You know, in, in Nigeria, we have hard working youth, hard working youth. They don't want to be begging people for food. So I encourage other youth that are working us to be hard working, be diligent. You know, bring out your potential, use it and serve your society, your community, and in return, you will get something. So I'm going to be ending this clip by saying a big thanks to all of you that have been following us. Thank you so much. And um, we encourage you to, you know, to send us good motivation by liking and commenting on our post. So we love you. Cheers. Goodbye. Mm.